Good morning and welcome back to Navigating Babies channel on YouTube. Thanks for joining me this morning. I'm Kirsty and I'm going to be making oat cookies this morning. These are something that I make with my kids all the time. Today I'm going to be using a food processor but you can also do it by hand. So let's switch this camera around and let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to say is don't worry about the fact that this food processor might look a bit a bit dirty it's not it's just I've made a batch already so that I could show you what they look like um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is put in our oats so we've got um, 55 grams of rolled oats here and that's two ounces pop that into the food processor I've also got some butter uh, this is unsalted butter and it's softened now you I'm doing this in the food processor um, but if you wanted to do this by hand, you just need to make sure that butter is like really soft. Mine is quite soft anyway. Um, let's just press that. So um, you need to make sure that, yeah, it's really soft. You want 85 grams of that. Then um, you want your sugar. So I'm using coconut sugar today. Um, I've also got bicarbonate of soda in there. Um, it's a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and um, then 75 grams of the uh, coconut sugar. So we'll pop that in and then some flour so again I'm going with coconut flour because I think it makes a really nice flavor combination um, and this is 75 grams again you can also use wholemeal flour for this um, that works really well and then lastly we are popping in some golden syrup you can also use maple syrup for this. I was thinking you might also be able to use agave, but it is um, a little bit thinner, so I'm not quite sure whether it would stick it together as well. But if anyone wants to try that, do let me know how that works out. So there we go, pop that in there. It's one tablespoon of that. So that gives an extra um, bit of sweetness there. And then you're just gonna blend it all together. that quick less than 30 seconds maybe because you just want it so that it's starting to form clumps so that if you press it it will um, squeeze together and you would be able to make it into a little a little ball okay so that's um, almost ready to go but we're gonna add some dried fruit to that which um, makes it taste really very good so let's move this out of the way. Now the dried fruit I'm using today, well it's actually semi-dried, I'm using soft apricots. I've already chopped these up. So um, the length of this video, you probably want to add about five minutes onto that for your preparation. So I'm gonna pop those in there. So again, it's 55 grams. You can also use raisins for this. You can use dried apricots. Um, I have also made it with dried strawberries as well and that also works very nicely. So once you've got it all in the bowl, you're just gonna mix it together. At this point, it's just hands in. Um, and if I am making this with the children, I don't use the food processor at all. And so then I would um, just mix it all with a spoon and then do this piece by hand. Okay. So I'm just gonna pop it onto my board for a moment. And then we're going to put it on a tray. So, grab the tray and a baking sheet. Put it with some non stick baking paper. Pop it on the tray. Got your ball with your um, fruit mixed in. And you're just going to take lumps and then just flatten them out. So they do spread a little bit, but they actually don't spread that much. Um, so kind of, you know, thinking about how big you want your biscuit to be. And leave a gap between them. If 
they're too close together and they stick together you can actually get them apart as soon as you um, you know if you take if you separate them just as soon as you take them out of the oven um, so then probably get two more out of this so you probably want to do like around a tablespoon or oh, well, you can make smaller ones um, if you've got like if you know if you've got littler kids That's it, so I've got six there, and then I will pop them in the oven, um, and the oven is at 160 for fan ovens, um, and 180 for non-fan ovens, and they're gonna take around 15 minutes. Once they come out, they're gonna look like this. So this one's very hot, um, it's just come out of the oven, so it's still really crumbly. Um, but they have a really nice texture. Um, they do stick together. So this one's very crumbly because it's just come out, but they stick together um, as they cool. So you want to be quite careful with them when you first take them out of the oven. And then it's all about the eating. So you can see that's a really quick recipe. Once you've um, cooked them and cooled them, then store them in an airtight container. And if they'll last that long, they'll um, certainly keep for about um, three to four days, but mine, really don't make it to the next day probably mostly because of me anyway thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again bye